Welcome back to AWE TV. With me right now is Marcus Meixner. You are the Hi. founder and CTO of ViewR. That's correct? Exactly. And uh, one of the interesting things about ViewR this year at AWE 2016 is you have two applications, two AR applications that are in the Augie Awards finalists. Um, two categories, so that is, correct me if I'm wrong, um, best enterprise application for uh, your work with Lufthansa, and you also have um, best app, just uh, with Bang & Olufsen, right? For interior design, kind of placement of furniture within exactly. your interior. Uh, tell us about these applications, please. So, um, let me start with the application for Lufthansa. Sure. Um, for Lufthansa, we created an application to scan cargo loads in order to compute volume. Mm -hmm. The idea is um, you want to optimize your shipments and you want to optimize the storage you can use in uh, an airplane. Mm -hmm. And having an ability to walk around and scan a pallet with such a sensor, you basically um, walk around the pallet, film it, you will see some contours of how much you can build up on that pallet depending oh. on its situation. So that's an optimization application and that's why it's nominated in the um, industry mm -hmm. category. A second application nominated. Sure. I don't think somebody else. Is this is the first yeah. first time um, you guys should win an award for just for that for for being a <laughs> finalist. Real quick yeah. before we move forward, full disclosure: I work for this company that develops the uh, structure sensor. I work for Occipital. However, uh, the votes do not lie. This uh, this was um, voted on by the community, and uh, your Lufthansa application. Uh, I think deserves a finalist uh, position. And also Lufthansa is, is really impressed of, of um, the quality and the data. Sure. Uh, they're, the presenting, they're presenting uh, on the application itself here yeah. at, at AW? We are presenting the application. Okay. Um, and yeah, they already did tests. What's, what, what's the, I guess, the outcome, the results of this? They're, they're able to, I completely understand, they scan the volume, they have that volume, and they're trying to match um, scanned volumes versus empty cargo load. And now that they have this volume that's scanned, they can kind of, uh, with software, place what's left and how much room is, is, is sold or unsold. The idea basically is that you sell or you um, plan space spaces, spots of yeah. pallets. Let's say you would fit 40 pallets into an airplane. Yes. And um, so the spots are being used, but they don't know how high they are used. Height, okay. So height so is the most important thing. Height and used volume, actually. Okay. The empty space that is still between um, the last box and the shape of the airplane. Okay. And especially on the sides of the airplane, you can't build up straight. You have to build up like, a, you have to cut an edge. Yeah. And our application is able to visualize this exact shape depending on which pallet you're filming and okay. where it's going to be placed and then while building this up um, you can you can walk around the pa uh, the pallets and add additional items sure so and that's a huge advantage sorry that's a huge advantage compared to um, scanning machines where you slide through the whole pallet mm -hmm. because you the build uh, in the building process you would have to take the pallet drive it somewhere slide it through know the optimization oh, sure. potential drive it back and add additional pieces now with such a mobile technology that's obviously a huge advantage and also cost-wise we're oh sure um, at a completely different range oh absolutely absolutely um, great to hear about that uh, Bang & Olufsen tell us about this application what are they saying about it how do they like it so Bang & Olufsen got an application from us with our product visualization modules okay and um, so they can do AR for visualizing items in the client's home mm -hmm. and they can do VR as in using a room builder in order to create an individual room shape, kind of remodeling the room of the client okay. and then placing some uh, furniture items plus the TVs and speakers in order to um, simulate the potential look and setup of Bang & Olufsen items. And then the, the, the ones trying to sell, uh, the, the Bang & Olufsen 
um, all of a sudden salespeople like it because, correct me if I'm wrong, they, they can close a deal sooner, right? Visualization is the key, is key here. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it was an amazing success. Yeah. Even, um, even the first test run was an amazing success and the, the, the salespeople are so proud of such a technology as sure. in they, they look like the coolest technology <laughs> people once they film the living room and say this is how your TV would look like yeah. and then it starts playing and people are really fascinated. So um, they love using it and Bang & Olufsen already defined the next steps and we're already in phase two of the application okay. so they're moving forward. Depth sensing will be um, a part of application version three. Okay. So Good to hear. That, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, and, and I think what, what's important for Bang & Olufsen is their furniture, their, the items that they sell are high end. So this, is, this isn't just like a $50 stereo or component or a, an end table. These are, are thousands of dollars worth of, of equipment just for a single item. Yeah. So you multiply that by doubling your sales, you've just doubled a salesperson's revenue or, or gross or however their, their commission um, because of one application that you've developed. Is that, yeah. Does that summarize it? So, um, yeah, actually they're going to have a speech today. Okay. And they're going to also name some facts and so on. Okay. But um, the core idea is that they can speed up the sales process. Okay. There is nothing to think about. It, you 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 get the client into an uh, into a position where he's very amazed about your brand, about your company, mm -hmm. and that's speeding up the sales process and convincing the people to more likely say, "Okay, I'll take it." Sure. And once that's right. said, it's it's almost fixed. So right, right. That's Wait, I mean, this sounds like you're. Uh, like augmented reality really just fills in that gap of you know what can I myself uh, imagine right I mean you can imagine I want that couch that color looks neat I'd really like to see that in my living room but, I mean and this is kind of a philosophical question but it's like AR is that visualization tool that we as human beings are having to have difficulty processing ourselves yeah is I like to see it is let's say an, an, a standard furniture company. Yeah. They have let's say 100 visitors on their website. Yeah. How much are they going to sell? How much are, are going to get clients? Like maybe two of them. And I have, I don't know. Not even five. Okay. I, I, I doubt that. But um, but um, the reason uh, why I'm mentioning this is where are the other 98 percent going? They even can't imagine it. They pick a competitor. Sure. They don't have time to go to a store to see how that would look. Right. They don't see their colors in their brochure. They or they look at information that they understand, which is numbers. Yeah. Nine hundred ninety-nine dollars versus five hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yeah, I'll take the cheaper one. Or they just say, or they just say not for now and sure. pause the situation. Sure. And let's if you split those ninety-eight percent into those five reasons. Imagine how you can actually turn around with such a tool. Sure. Even if you could just turn around three people out of those 98 using such a tool, you have more than doubled your turnover. Sure, sure. Yeah. This, this sounds like numbers, these are numbers that you generally bring to your, your clients, potential clients, right? That's kind of, um, yeah, the, regarding studies and, and tests we did. Oh, cool. and, um, but yeah, it's it, even, even just selling three more out of a hundred is a huge oh, absolutely. success. Right. And, and we're, let's say this whole industry and market of, of, of selling something is actually a market where you cannot not easily grow. You can only, let's say, steal from your competitors. <laughs> so you have to get more att attraction sure. and get more attention from your competitors. And people get involved with such tools. And that's why it's such a great thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you think uh, we'll see here at AWE next year? I mean, you get, it sounds like you're going to be integrating more uh, depth solutions. Um, the next rev of Bang & Olufsen application, depth, Lufthansa. I hope that continues further. Um, what's, what do you see down the road for you and, and even what you expect to see here next year at AWE? Um, let me, let me maybe start with, a, let's say, a, a, a brief overview of, of, of what we're doing and, and then I'm going to um, close that topic. Um, 
So basically, we are actually creating an SDK okay. in order to create applications in a very efficient and flexible way. Okay. So um, the idea is we have certain core modules like um, material switching, like using different tracking, using different hardware, um, running an application on iOS, Android, and even the web browser for product configurations, for example, mm -hmm. or VR scenarios. Um, and we're releasing this as an SDK now on the event. And next year, we're hoping that lots of other companies present showcases like we did using our SDK. Okay. So, so that's one thing. And technically, um, I would say, uh, I guess there will be more a um, head-mounted display. Okay. You think that'll, that'll be a thing next year? There will be um, more depth sensing. There will be more object recognition, object tracking. Yeah, that, that's coming up more. Um, well, I think we're at time. Uh, thank you for your time, Marcus. Thanks for attending. Uh, and thanks welcome. for joining us here at AWE TV. Thanks.